hey, you didn't surprise me this time. Um, sorry to disturb any one of you after making a second video within not even a week. Um, I decided to make another video because I find it ironic that Nintendo decided to release the Luigi's Balloon World update not even a day after I finished <laughs> the last video. So, you know, I'm actually getting into reviewing now, so let's get it going. Hey guys, what's going on? It's King HG's here, once again, back within not even a week, like I said in the intro. I am telling you, Nintendo must have watched that video because not even a day passed and they already released the next Super Mario Odyssey. I just stuttered. The next Super Mario Odyssey update. And I'm thinking they watched my video, I'm telling you. But anyways, let's talk about this amazing update because I have my thoughts. Because yes, it is true, Super Mario Odyssey is a great game in itself, but I believe the best chunk of the game comes from the Luigi Balloon World update. Because it adds so much, but also so little. It's too much to ask for, but could we have gotten just a teeny bit more? Just a little bit, a little bit extra, you know, even more new costumes. Like, I'm telling you, we need, like, um, just a straight-up Bowser costume, a straight-up Princess Peach costume. You know, is it too much to ask have some third-party support in there? Like, you know, having a Sonic costume? Just have a bunch of Amiibo-specific costumes that you don't actually get to buy in stores, you know, just as a secret. You know, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> you know, just buy, you know, buy it. It's, you scan a Sonic Amiibo, you get Sonic costume. Pac-Man, you get a Pac-Man costume. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Everyone's happy. Um, but I'm not going to complain about that because I still think what we got is worth it. And I'm going to not go on too long because this is not going to be a longer video because I have a secret to tell you right now before I actually get into talking about the update. I have a actual full-on Super Mario Odyssey um, review in the future. So I hope you all can look forward to that. Of course, it's still going to be under 15 minutes, so it might be a two-parter actually. Of course, I hope those two parts actually come out on the same day because, you know, I don't want to take too long. But it might take more than one day to, you know, finish one half and then get continuing to talk about the other. And then maybe in the future I could even talk about even more games. You know, like I could talk about Splatoon 2, Mario plus Rabbids, because that's a game I want to get onto. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. That game is so good, but not a lot of people talk about it, and I think it needs to get its voice heard. So, that'll be my job in the future, and I hope all of you get excited, but do not think it's going to be in the same week. You know, I'm not going to start, I'm not going to upload this new Super Mario Odyssey video, like, tomorrow. No, 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 that's not happening. So, I just want to make a quick little, not any, not much longer than five minutes about just talking about the new update, and the fact that if you actually look at the screen right now, that's right. Mm, yeah. So, these are the new two filters you got. It's Coin and Neon. Um, I just wanted to show this off because I want to show off all parts of it real quick. So, yeah, you can see them right now. Okay, so, yeah, that's the major thing. And I'm not going to show off Luigi's Balloon World. I just wanted to show off the filters. Um, I might show off the costumes at the very end, but I'm going to talk about Luigi's Balloon World for right now. So, Luigi's Balloon World is actually a really fun mini game that doesn't reward you power moons. However, it rewards you with fun times and stars yeah you get stars but not power stars just stars you get little star emblems that sell you how good you are at the game and i'm actually pretty good because his amount of balloons also depend on your rank and look he got four balloons he starts out with one he got four now and i think that's from getting a max amount of stars so you know good things um i'm very happy to note that this is actually a really fun mini game so now let's talk about it hide it it's basically where you can probably guess you hide it, but you basically at the start you move to a location, which is the starting point. He says as soon as you leave this area, the timer will start and you have 30 seconds to go hide a balloon. Go hide the balloon, I guess. That's literally all you do now is just go hide. Um, and once you get going with hiding, you have to must, you must hide the balloon within 30 seconds, and that's it. That's hide it, and you just do this for every single one of the kingdoms. But I will go back to hide it in a second after I talk about find it. Find it is basically where you find other people's balloons. They will hide them somewhere using hide it and then you can find them and pay coins to find them and you will get a reward of more coins. 
which is why I might ask, how does Luigi profit from this? I seriously must know. How does he profit? Because it seems he's giving more coins away. So, uh, where, where's the profit here, buddy? Anyways, I feel as if that this game is actually getting way better with each update. Because now that Luigi's in it, it means it's way more fun just to play Blue Luigi's Balloon World. And the fact that it exists is really, really fun and interesting. Um, so, now here's what happens if, what if someone else finds my balloon? It pops. Yeah, I'm not even joking. It pops. Yeah, the way you get profit from Hide It is other people to look for it. But the problem that arises when people look for it is if they find it. Guess what happens when you find something? It blows up. <laughs> Which means it goes away. It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. You're never going to find that same balloon again. It's going to be a new one if the same person hides another balloon there. However, that means if they pop your balloon, they you have to go back to the kingdom, rehide it, and then go back to wherever you want to be. And it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Like, I... Because I found the best place for finding balloons, and trust me, take this tip, the Sand Kingdom. There's nothing out there, so it's just easy to see and go, Balloon, I'm going to get that. Because I can actually, check out my Twitter, and I will have a bunch of them showing off, like, stupid locations where I go. And other ones where I will show really good locations I found, that I either saw noticing, because if it's out in the open, but it's in a cool spot, I might show it. Because I saw one today. That looked like a cactus. Because there are a bunch of round cactuses in the Sand Kingdom. And I noticed that... I only noticed it because I was going back and forth between two sets of balloons. And I saw it kept appearing at Instagram. I'm like, that is a great spot. It, it did not look like a balloon. It looks like a cactus. Because it has same coloring-ish. And it was from a long distance. So I couldn't tell that it was a balloon and not a cactus. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. That was a good spot. Anyways, that was a side tangent. But, um... That's majorly the part of it. It's a lot of fun just being competitive and seeing if you can keep your balloon up. Because I have a record where no one can seem to find my Cap Kingdom balloon. I am telling you. That is a fact. No one can find it. I don't know how and I don't know why, but no one can find it. Also, yeah, you notice I changed, I'm changing it again. Um, so... That's really it for Luigi's Balloon World, and I'm liking the fact that it's not hard to beat it. It's actually really fun, because half of it is just the waiting game. You just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, because you're just waiting for people to look for your balloons, give you more money, and get you more stars. And the other half is actually pretty easy, except I don't like how many um, balloons you must find in order to get the stars to go up on Find It mode. Also, I found that the easiest part of the game was actually just getting the, um, how many can you get in a row moons. Not moons. <laughs> how many can you get in a row stars. I already maxed that at that area. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up now. So I'm quickly just going to show you now. Okay, so you can see me on the bottom screen. I'm moving and I'm going to go into the cat. I'm going to go into the Odyssey real quick. To show you the other costumes, because I'm in one of them right now, which you might notice. Wait, I can't zoom in. I'll show all of them real quick, so. Sorry if I'm quiet, I just, I have to show these off. These are so good. I'm not showing all of them in the actual update. Not in the actual update, in the actual review. Because there's too many. I can't do that. But I would love to show you a few of them. Because these are actually really cool ones that they made just for the update. Like, this is a musician costume. Also, I don't, I'm not going to show you the other one I had the entire time. Which was actually the Mario Sunshine outfit. And my personal favorite of the new ones is the night outfit. I'm telling you, whoever created this is a genius. And if you need to look at them in better detail, because, you know, I don't have great quality in my camera, but if you want to check it out, go ahead and check out the Nintendo YouTube channel. It's actually really cool. They have it shown off there, so, yeah. So, I guess I will see you all in the next video. And do be on the lookout for the next Super Mario Odyssey review. So, I will see you all later, and bye bye and sorry for making this video so much longer than it had to be.